Right, so today we're going to be taking a look at my Owl Rehab collection because I was, you know, I was talking to a, one of my subscribers, Fragrance Newbie, and he was um, telling me about some Owl Rehabs and uh, asking which ones are my favourites. So this is these are all the Owl Rehabs I've got. I did have a couple more, but I threw them away. Um, they really weren't my cup of tea. But these are the ones what I mean a couple of these I'm going to throw away as well I think but before I do I'll just go through them anyway so we'll start with Sat Safa this one is a very Middle Eastern oody sort of scent it's not um, it's not a really strong oud or medicinal oud but the thing with it is is it it can smell a little bit feminine so I mean it depends on how you really want to you know take it it is I'd say it's unisex but leaning a little bit towards feminine I do like it I mean as you can see I, I do use it quite a bit it's quite strong seven hours longevity on me projection because it's an oil it all depends on your body temperature so that varies day to day but for two pound i'd recommend it you can get this uh ebay for two pound or less i'm not sure about amazon don't use that but i'd recommend this one if you like middle eastern scents um, it doesn't smell like anything, you know. I mean, I know uh, Lex Ellis compared compared it to uh, Montal and stuff. You know, I wouldn't go that far. It's not really like a Montal or anything, but you know, it's just uh, what you'd call a generic Middle Eastern scent, if there is such a thing. If you can imagine what you would think of as a Middle Eastern scent that's probably what you'd come up with so I'd give it a, you know a rating of 7 out of 10 it's quite good cheap so yeah that's that one so next is Sondos this is one of my favourites um, I'm not really a big fan of sandalwood which is quite weird really when this is a sandalwood based one but it's not a creamy sandalwood because that gives me a headache. This is more like a dry, sweet sandalwood. So again, it doesn't smell like anything. I can't say why well, it smells like something so you know what it would smell like. It doesn't smell like anything. But it's a, a sweet, dry sandalwood. And the longevity on it is it's not bad but it's not beast mode either but again it's two pound so you know you can stick that in your pocket take it work with you or wherever you want to go with it but yeah if you like um sandalwood give that a try uh, next dakar again you, as you can see i've used quite a bit of this it's a clone of dracar noir well, I don't know if it's meant to be a clone or... I don't know, I don't know how we have work. But it does smell like it. And it's a uh, pretty good performance with this one. I'd say... Well, it's hard hard to say, but exactly... You know, I'd say 7 hours plus. Projection is quite good on this one because it's quite strong, I mean... You only need a little bit. As soon as it warms up, you you all over the place with it. I mean, I've made a mistake with oils before, where I put like a little bit too much on. Now this is with one of my good uh, ouds, and I thought, well, I put a little bit on. I thought that's ah, not that strong, so I put a bit more on. And I thought, Oof, it's not that strong still, so I put a bit more on. And I was at the doctor's and people could smell me 15 feet away. Uh, it, you know, I had to pull my coat up. 
around my neck and everything. Like everyone could smell me, it was that strong. That's the problem with oils. So always go for a little bit at first and then if you need a bit more, do that. I recommend that with that, that is quite a strong one. Uh, silver, which is basically a clone of silver mounting water. So I won't go into the notes or anything of it because we all know silver mounting water. And then, you know, it is a pretty good clone for £2 again. You know, I mean, what would you rather do? Spend £2 on an oil or 190 quid on a bottle of Creed? You know, I'd, I'd rather spend it on the oil to be fair. Then we've got Sultan. Oh, rating, I'll give that a 8 out of 10. Then we've got Sultan. Um, I know a lot of people on YouTube and wherever say it smells like ginger beer. Well, it was me who came up with that on Fragrance ago. So I, I noticed I didn't get any credit from anyone for coming up for that. But anyway, it's this is, I'd say, a spring sort of scent. I wouldn't use this in the summer, but I wouldn't use it in the winter or autumn either. Just as the weather's turning, you know, just starting to get warm. That's when I'd use this. The longevity on me is not fantastic with this one. It's, um, I'd say, five to six hours maximum. So, you know, you'd have to carry that around with you. But I'd give it a six, six out of ten for that one. I do like it, but it's not the best. Lord, this gets compared to Koros and Ted Lapidus. I'd lean more towards Koros personally. Um, well, yeah, probably a mix, you know, a bit of both. This one is a beast mode one as well, so you only need like a little tiny bit of this, tiny tiny little bit. But longevity, I'd say 10 hours plus. Um, I don't know if everyone would like this. If you like Koros or Ted Lapidus, then yeah, you would like it. But I wouldn't say buy it as a blind buy if you don't like them. Because, you know, you won't like it. But what? Ah, now this one. Mr. I blind bought this one, I blind bought all of them, but based on the notes I kind of got an idea of what it would smell like and I was happy with what I bought. This one, there's just something in it and it just gives me a right headache, like really bad. Even just smelling it there, it's, it just makes me want to gag, it's just nasty. It smells like... I know this is going to sound disgusting, but you know when you're spitting or whatever and you get that smell just of the saliva, it's just got that sort of smell to it. It's just, ugh, I wouldn't even recommend that. I'm not even going to go into it. Just don't buy that one. Uh, Mokola Al Rehab. This one gets a lot of hate on fragrance ago. People say it smells like um, flea spray and things like that or flea collars or something, I can't remember what it was. It really is not that bad, you know. It's a little bit weird, but it's probably because it's a little bit harsh as well. It's quite strong as well. I'd say it's more of a floral amber sort of smell. I wouldn't say it's got any oud in it. Not, not that I can detect any in it. There's more amber in that than oud. But that's, you know, again, if you like it, you'll like it. If you don't really like Middle Eastern sort of scents, then you probably won't like that. Longevity, six hours maybe, maybe a little bit less. But projection is not that good with this one. So I'd give that one a five out of ten. Um, Shika, now this one 
everybody seems to love this on uh, Frey Granska. But I don't know whether they're smelling something else or what, but this is just, it's a, a mess, basically. The rose in it, if that's the floor of what I'm smelling, is that harsh and synthetic. It just, it's just nasty. That one I would not recommend either. I'm not even going to go into that actually, just don't buy it. Um, Sultan Al Oud. This is basically an oil version of Amir Al Oud by Latafa. It's pretty much exactly the same. And that's a good thing for me because I like Amir Al Oud. And this one it is quite oudy. It's not a dirty oud, it's more of like a dry oud. So, if you like oud, you more than likely would like this. And for the price as well, you know, I paid £2 for it. All of these are £2 or less. Some I think I paid £1.85 for, so you can't really go, go wrong with that. But if you, you know, if you like um, Amir Al Oud and you find it doesn't last that long, you can always spray a bit on you before you go out, then just take that with you. Just dab a bit on when it starts running low. But it is quite uh, You've got to like Oud to like this one, and you've got to like Middle Eastern scents, because if you're only used to Western stuff, you probably won't like this one. Now, my pick of the bunch is Al Sharkia. I actually got sent this one by mistake. I ordered, I actually ordered another one um, and they sent me this one instead. So, I mean, I was quite fortunate really to have discovered it in that way. It's a typical Middle Eastern sort of vibe to it. There's quite a lot of oud going on bit of amber in there as well it's not very sweet and it's kind of like a dark floral as well so I'd say this leans towards more masculine than feminine I, I don't know whether women would use this one of course they could there's no laws against it if you like it use it but I don't know I'd see more men using this one but this one seems to be a little bit more expensive than all the other ones I mean, I quite regularly see this for up to six pounds for the oil. And I don't know whether the, you know, that's just the price of it, or whether there's a shortage on it. I don't know. But this is my pick out of all of them. So, if you like Middle Eastern scents, I'd select this one. Um, it's the best all round. You know, it's got the best smell, the best performance overall um, and if you can get it at a good price probably the best value as well so for me if I was going to recommend any to you if you never tried our rehab before and you wanted me to recommend one I'd recommend that our shark here but make sure you get it at a good price and also, I'm going to let you know about some more videos that I'm going to be doing as well. I'm going to be doing a, a Perfume Parlour versus video. So I'm going to put Perfume Parlour against a few other oil companies um, who do clones as well. So we'll see who the king is. Um, and I'm going to do some reviews on just other clones as well. So there's a few oil brands that I've been using because I've not really been using perfume parlor so much just purely because I you know there's a lot of other brands out there and they have stuff quite regular whereas perfume parlor they can sell out something and not have it for ages so you know I've been exploring a few of the brands and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video probably tomorrow and I'm going to uh, show you some of the oils that I've had from other brands um, they're actually cheaper than perfume parlor as well so you know you might be in for a surprise when you see how i rate them well anyway 
I'll leave that there with the Algae Hubs. Um, any questions, leave them below and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Um, if you want any advice on clones or what the best one is, the best I've tried, just ask the questions. I'll answer any questions as best as I can. Um, yeah, and look out for the other video tomorrow because the one tomorrow will be brands other than Perfume Parlor who do clones. I think I've got three other brands to do tomorrow. I think it's about seven or eight oils I've got to do tomorrow. So it'd be quite interesting to see how some of them stack up to uh, Perfume Parlor. So tune in tomorrow to see that. Try some out rehabs, they're cheap. Um, yeah, so I'll get that video done for you tomorrow.